So the former theorems, extreme value theorem in combination with uh, Fermat's theorem, provides an excellent tool to uh, to optimize functions or finding extreme values of a functions on closed intervals. Yeah, suppose we have a continuous function f defined on a closed interval a b. Yeah, so we have a real valued functions and it is assumed continuous and we want to find extreme values. Well, first of all, the extreme value theorem states that extreme values can be found. So this is not a void operation. So it's, it's something meaningful. Yeah, so we may find extreme values. If we look hard enough, then we find them. Um, also, the, the statement is that we may find critical points of f and uh, two things should hold either we have a maximum or minimum where the function is derivative uh, has a derivative and uh, if it has a derivative in a relative maximum or an absolute maximum then uh, this should be equal to zero or the maximum or minimum is found at a point where the function is not derivative it has no derivative. So if we look at the critical points, then we might evaluate the function value in those critical points. And uh, uh, we just need to compare them with the boundary points c equal a and c equal b. Well, why is that? Well, usually we assume if we have a derivative that we can take limits from the left hand side and the right hand side but now obviously in the boundary points if f is only defined on an interval then we may find a hard time to f find a limit from the left hand side of some function in c equals a and the same holds for b from the right hand side now the minimum and maximum values, or the absolute minimum and absolute maximum values of FC are just the extreme values. We just calculate it. Yeah, so we just compare all those numbers and we take the maximum value as the absolute maximum of the function. And the minimum value in the former step gives uh, a reason to believe that this is the absolute minimum of the function.